It is now 1.12 p.m. on Monday, July 29th, 2019. I call the board business meeting to order of the New York State Board of Parole. And let's begin, please, with a roll call. And um, why don't we go, in the just for fun, in the order of seniority, beginning with uh, Commissioner William Smith. To my right. Okay, I'm Commissioner William Smith. Ellen Alexander, present. Mark Coppola, present. Commissioner Louis Cruz, present. Tom Agostini, present. Eric Berliner, present. Tiny Strike, present. Karen Massey is present. <coughs> I'm Tina Stanford. I'm the chairwoman of the Board of Parole, and I'm joined by Kathy Kylie, counsel to the board. Also present from our office are. And running our audio visual equipment. And welcome to the members of the public that are here. Um, can we please begin our meeting with a moment of silent prayer or meditation? Thank you. Has everyone had an opportunity to review? the business meeting minutes from our meeting in June, specifically June 24th of 2019. And if you have, is there a motion with respect to those minutes? Is there a second? Motion made by Commissioner Berliner, seconded by Commissioner William Smith. Are there any questions or discussion? All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any abstentions due to absence? Thank you, Commissioner Agostini and Demosthenes. Thank you very much. Motion is carried. We don't have any ongoing old business to carry over into this meeting. Um, I did uh, make an announcement last month that uh, five new commissioners were confirmed by the New York State Senate after being appointed by our governor. And uh, the newest member is en route. And hopefully we'll hear from him uh, later on in the meeting. Also, there's no new business to discuss at this meeting that I'm aware of. Is there an item of old or new business from any of the members present that you want to place on the agenda at this time? Okay. Hearing none, I'm gonna go into our correspondence for this month. Commissioners Coppola and Cruz got a letter from a gentleman uh, dated June 18th of 2019 and the letter is exactly the same, but for being addressed to both in separate envelopes. And I just wanna read the text of the letter. I hope this letter finds you well. My heart is filled with joy, and I want to take this time to thank you for allowing me this chance to be released. Notifying my family about your decision has given them such relief and hope. They have struggled with me all these years, and we can rejoice now at this second chance at life. I promise to keep my word and to be a positive part of society. My mission is to give back to the community through my actions and experience. God bless you, and again, thanks on behalf of me and my family, signed sincerely. And this person went so far as to have it notarized. So I guess they really wanted you to know uh, that they're, they, they're serious about keeping their, the promise that they made to you during your exchange at the time of his interview. Got some sad news. 
Um, and some of you may have known this, this gentleman. I did not personally have the pleasure, but Snowden Earl Eichenberger passed away July 10th of 2019. And I just want to read his obituary because he sounds like he was a phenomenal person and a gentleman and a former member of our board. S. Earl Eichenberger, 73 years entered into eternal life on Wednesday, July 10, 2019, in Hampton, Virginia, after living with Crohn's, a chronic condition. He was encircled by his loving family as he drifted off to meet his savior. Earl was born in Harlem, New York, on February 14, 1946, to his loving parents, the late Fannie Mae and the late Snowden Earl Eichelberger Sr. Growing up in New York City, he attended Resurrection Paris Parish School and Cardinal Hayes High School. Earl left the city to attend Le Moyne College in Syracuse, New York, on a basketball scholarship. In doing so, he became the first African American to play on a varsity team at the college. After graduating from Le Moyne, Earl earned his master's degree in social work from Syracuse University, developing a lifelong love for the orange. Following school, Earl began a lifelong career of public service, starting with his work with the New York State Division of Youth, in which he counseled and helped to mentor many un underserved young adults. It was during his time with the New York State Division for Youth in Rochester, New York, where Earl met and fell in love with his future wife of 32 years, Carla. They were married on July 11, 1987, in Albany, New York, and it was there that they raised their two amazing children, Clayton and Imani. While in Albany, he served many roles in his beloved church, the Black Catholic Apostolate. Apostolate. He also was an active member in the Beta Psi Boule chapter of Sigma Pi Phi fraternity. In 1985, Earl was appointed by Governor Mario Cuomo to be a commissioner on the New York State Parole Board, a position he held for 14 years. After retiring from his service to the state, Earl began his second career as director of Catholic Charities for the Bishops of New York. Earl officially retired in 2014. He then enjoyed spending time at his home by the sea in Hampton, Virginia, where he discovered the love of sailing. In retirement, Earl continued serving as a mentor to young adults, teaching chess at a youth detention center. Earl is survived by his wife, Carla Hunter Eichelberger, his sister, Carol Johnson, and his two children, Clayton and Imani Eichelberger. He is also survived by his one granddaughter, Karina Eichelberger, as well as in-laws, nieces, nephews, cousins, friends, former co-workers, and his church families in Albany and Hampton. Earl was a wonderful husband, a great father, an adoring grandfather, a kind and caring brother, an uncle, and a loyal friend. He was a faith-filled man with strong principles and a beautiful spirit. He will forever be a giant among men. Is there anything you want to add? I guess you did know him. Sure. Um, Mr. Eichelberger was really a, a very measured um, commissioner. He was wonderful to work with. Um, he was very involved in his church, very involved um, even with prison ministries when he went into Catholic Charities after his work. Um, one of the things that, that uh, was really in, in his uh, knowledge base was the knowledge of uh, the way sentences are structured. Um, as we all know, there's uh, sentence structures can be complex, and he always enjoyed being able to uh, sort of weave the way through it. And there are times even now when, just just because I've you know you've been around and you see so many sentences, and a lot of, of the folks that are working in uh, you know worked in criminal justice, there's questions that come up, and he was really the uh, had the gold standard of being able to understand. Sentences. So um, he, he was a, a wonderful commissioner and I know enjoyable to work with. So well respected. Thank you for sharing that. 
At this point, I have no further correspondence. Is there a motion to enter into executive session to discuss privileged matter with our general counsel, Kathy Kiley? Make a motion that we make a motion that we move into executive session. Okay, and second by Commissioner Coppola. Any further discussions or questions? And at the end of that, we will be dismissed. May I amend your motion to add that? Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. We're in executive session until our next meeting, August 26th.